Again, if I haven't met you not yet, it's nice to meet you. I'm Ansley Sutter, Social Media Training and Communications Coordinator with Brent Media Solutions. Again, I appreciate you joining me today. And what I do for for rent and for you is essentially I'm your go-to girl as far as social media is concerned. If you're needing to onboard or train anyone on your team, if you yourself are needing to be get a refresher on say Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or Vine, Instagram, you name it, we have a training for that. So make sure you get in touch with me or any of your for rent reps and they can point you in my direction. And we'll be happy to get you geared up with social media so that you can use FR Social to benefit your social media strategy. Excuse me. In today's session, though, we'll be talking about and we're going to be covering some social media techniques you can implement into your social strategy to help make your residents feel at home. It's so important. and Many times it gets looked over because there's so many other things we have to really take into account as far as you know, leasing professional or leasing agent concerned. Again, sometimes there can be somewhat of a disconnect when a person decides to choose multifamily living rather than home ownership. And it shouldn't be that way. So today we're going to cover ways you can make your residents feel a sense of community at your community. Now before we get started, we're excited to introduce FRMS Chat. We are active on Twitter. And if you're using the hashtag FRMS Chat on Twitter, you have, if you have any feedback or any questions or any insight, make, sh make sure to share that insight via a tweet on Twitter. And what we're going to do with that information is we are going to randomly select one person who's using this hashtag on Twitter, and we're going to give them a $10 gift, ca gift card. I'm sure anyone could use a $10 gift card right now. So make sure you're tweeting with us. We have someone on our FR social team who is on Twitter right now looking out for those tweets. They're going to be retweeting you, giving you your brand exposure that you want. Um, so make sure you're using that hashtag, and we'll be happy to randomly select one person and give you that $10 gift card. And we'll announce the winner at the end of the webinar. So make sure to hang out with us. Also, just one more housekeeping tip. I share this with you every time. We're going to use GoToWebinar to facilitate our session today. So on your GoTo panel, you can ask questions during our session. And I welcome you to do that because that way we can be as interactive as possible. I can see them come in, in real time. And more times than not, I'll answer your question along the way. But if I don't for whatever reason, we're happy to follow up with you on Twitter as we're using the FRMS chat today as well as I'm happy to respond back to you via email if you choose to go that route. So before I go over our agenda, I want to kind of explain why we talk about social media every month. And if you're not familiar with FR Social, please get in touch with your foreign account rep. Um, but FR Social is a rich suite of tools exclusive to you, exclusive to for rent customers only. And FR Social is a social media solution made easy. So FR Social Expert concentrates on management, advertising, listening, and education, saving you time and making social marketing more easy for you. What this package includes is our tools designed to enhance your audience engagement and improve your online reputation, driving more leads to you. So FR Social positions you to gain a competitive edge by utilizing social media for your brand. And this is why we touch on social media every month, okay? The goal is to onboard and train you on, like I said, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Vine, et cetera, so that you are well equipped to use FR Social at its optimal capacity. So again, if you are interested in learning more about becoming an FR Social Expert customer, we are happy to have you. Make sure you get with your for rent rep and we can set up a quick demo for you. So let's go over a little bit of what we're going to be talking about today, okay? So we're going to go over a little psychology. We're going to dig into what makes us feel at home. So by understanding our universal basic needs, you'll know how to better address the needs that uh, are in the social space, the needs of your residents, including the needs that need to be met on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Vine, and Twitter. And as always, you'll walk away with applicable tips, that's a mouthful, huh, and links to cover the info I'm sharing. So again, feel free to ask questions at any time, feel free to 
tweet with us. We will see those tweets come in in real time. So believe it or not, much of marketing, sales, and leasing deals with understanding your audience. So it's important to know why consumers make the decisions they do. We can't, we really can't know how to market to them unless we know the why behind, right? So most of the time our decisions are based on just our basic needs, as simple as it sounds. So what you see here is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And it's a diagram, and although it's not our job to satisfy all the needs met that you see here, it's still important to know what motivates consumers to make decisions, make the decisions they do. So you'll also find that many of these needs are met at home. So just take a second to look at these and keep these in mind because a lot of these needs, self-actualization, safety, security, um, shelter, friends, recognition, all that type of stuff might be addressed and you might be able to address those needs of your residents that you may not have thought you needed to address in the past. So in addition to understanding consumer behavior by identifying these basic needs we've just talked about, another important method of information gathering can be done by identifying the needs amongst ourselves. That's really where we need to start because guess what? We're consumers just like anyone else. We're consumers just like our prospects and residents, and what makes us feel welcome and part of a community more than likely is what's going to make our residents and prospects feel welcome and wanted and respected at, our, at their community or at our communities. So first and foremost, safety is and security is a key requirement and expectation for home owners or home shoppers and apartment shoppers. So if you have a gated community um, or an on-site officer or maybe security cameras, make sure you're advertising that. Make sure you're advertising and promoting this in-demand amenity. This will definitely attract prospects and retain your residents because they know they're being kept safe and sound. And if something does occur, there's a security camera. Or if something does occur, there's an on-site officer. So if you are, have not been you know, advertising or promoting these amenities in the past, Make sure you're doing that because right now and always, that's probably the most of the top ten um, need that needs to be met for anyone moving into a neighborhood or an apartment community. It's also human nature to have the need to belong. So we're communal creatures. So a sense of community is something that is so important to us. So what do you offer at your community that satisfies this basic need? You might want to ask yourself that. Are you hosting a monthly event like a game night or maybe seasonal events if you're not doing something every month? Definitely be doing something around you know, holidays that are important to every demographic. If not, if you're not doing this, I'll be sharing some ideas that you can adopt and ways you can implement these events into your current social strategy. Another need that needs to be met is basic needs such as food, water, and shelter. These are no-brainers. Um, what I don't want you to think is that, you know, because you are offering maybe like you like to call them apartment units, we hate that word around here, but maybe you're promoting or selling apartment units and you think your job is done. Your job is not done, my friend. The last thing you want to do is promote units. Again, we hate that word around here. What we like to say is your goal as a leasing professional is to promote a lifestyle. What, that's what's going to separate you from your competition. Again, you, anyone can meet the basic needs. What's going to set you apart from your competition is a lifestyle you're promoting. And I'll show you how you can do that using social media. Next, customer service is what we expect. Again, it's not something that, oh, that's great if you have customer service. It's an expectation of any consumer. And when you're conducting any type of financial transaction that's made, Customer service is number one on the list if you're going to get that person's money. And the same thing goes with if a prospect is entertaining the thought of living at your community. Just think about it. In most cases, homeowners and residents are making financial transactions with either their bank or the leasing office just about every month. That bill comes every month. That invoice comes every month. And a homeowner or a resident at an apartment community has to pay that rent or that mortgage every single month. And again, this is an expectation from anyone using a product or service. 
when they are expecting customer service. Word of mouth, and more importantly, word of mouth, we've talked about that before, how your reputation is approached in you know, the perspective of your reputation online. Word of mouth and word of mouth increases when you continue the cycle of great customer service. So just be consistent in providing great customer service. Lastly, we are also creatures of communication. Even the most introverted person needs to communicate at some level. So we're going to, you know, how are you relaying messages to your residents? According to Satisfax, 53.9% of renters prefer their cell phones as their primary contact method. And we're seeing that, you know, co contact um, and communication is being taken place offline. It's being taken place not in person, but it's going to be taken place via text message or via email um, or on social networks. You know, people just don't have time to maybe come into the leasing office, but they do have time to read an email while they're on the go. They do have time to check a status update that you've left on your Facebook timeline. They do have time to read a tweet because they're already on Twitter. They do have time to see you post something on Instagram because guess what, they're there too. So just make sure that you're keeping an open line of communication, but you're doing so in more um, unconventional ways because short, traditional, FaceTime works, but you're seeing now that the behavior of prospects and residents out there is showing that they're going to be, um, you know, wanting to be contacted in different methods than FaceTime. So this is why we've introduced FR Mobile's Text to Resident, Text to Prospect program, and which is going to add more ease to your marketing strategy. So with this, you can attract more renters, you can keep them excited about your community while helping them outshine your competition. So these easy-to-use tools that we always try to offer you as an FR Social customer and as an FR for Rent Media Solutions customer, these tools are going to help you amplify your reach to capture more apartment shoppers. And Text the Resident or Text the Prospect, also known as TAR TAP for short, because guess what, it's a mouthful, <laughs> makes connecting with your resident and prospects extremely easy. And this is going to give you the opportunity to keep in touch and share important news in real time with them while they're on the go, right? Because most of the time, your prospects or your residents are working individuals just like you and I are. And they don't have time to read a whole flyer that you've left at their door or something like that. And like we said, 53.9% prefer to get a text message. That's why we've introduced this product, TARCAP. So what you see at the bottom of the screen here is a promotion that we're running right now. And we began this promotion on June 17th, and it's still going on where you can be one of the first 100 customers to sign up for a six-month TARTAP agreement, and you can receive 60 days free. Can you believe that? Of course you can, because we love you guys. And did I get your attention on that? I hope I did. So if you are interested in this, make sure you're texting, and, and listen really carefully, because I'm going to repeat it a couple times. Text T A R. D E M O, so that's TAR demo, no spaces, to number 47 368. Again, if you're interested in this promotion and you're wanting to kind of figure out what TAR TAP can do for your social strategy and for your marketing strategy and for your outreach strategy, text T A R D E M O, TAR demo, to 47 368 for more information. We'll make sure we get, we get you taken care of. Again, if you're interested in this product, make sure you get in, with your, get in touch with your for rent representative and they can give you a little bit more information. All right, so let's move ahead and talk about the techniques to create and strengthen your community culture. Let's talk about the various ways you can use social media, your social media presence, to not only create a sense of community, and a welcome atmosphere, but strengthen or enhance what you're currently doing right now. I'm going to break it down by social network first. So we're going to talk about Facebook, because Facebook, as of this year, is the number one referring social media site to forrent.com. And last year, this network generated close to 40,000 guest cards. So Facebook is arguably one of the most important social sites um, on which to establish your brand presence, okay? A lot of prospects and residents are going to Facebook. 
What you can do with, with Facebook is use the events feature on Facebook. What this does is it's going to speak to the need for communication that we talked about, and it's going to speak to the need of sense of belonging. Maybe you know hosting a resident event or something you've been wanting to do, or maybe hosting a resident event is something you've been wanting to do, but you're kind of at a point where you're not sure what to do. Well, here are a few examples. These are a few examples of events you can host, and I'm going to give you a few minutes to write these down, and I'm going to go into each one in detail. But these are all great events that other communities have hosted, are hosting now. And it's as basic as, you know, maybe hosting a welcome to the neighborhood social maybe every month or every quarter for new residents. This is something that's, number one, going to kind of pull them out of the bunch and make them feel like they're having extra special attention, like, you know, you care about how they can get around, what landmarks you would point them to. If you're having any cross promotions with any local businesses, say like the local laundromat or the local sub shop is going to give residents of your community maybe a 10% discount. Um, something like that is going to make them feel like, hey, they really do care about me coming into this community and me living here. So something like that is going to help you out. Supper club, who loves food? Yappy Hour, this is an event I've seen um, brands across the board throw as far as inviting your furry friends. So let's go over some of these right now. And make sure you're tweeting so we can pick that $10 gift card winner, but we want to get your feedback on these webinars, so make sure you're tweeting with the hashtag FRMSChat. So the first event idea you can incorporate is a welcome to the neighborhood social. As easy as that sounds, you can make it be an hour long so it's not cutting out of your day. But a welcome to the community meeting for residents will not only help them feel welcome, but this gives you the opportunity to connect a face with the name. So the next time you have an, a personal interaction with your new resident, you can be less rigid. You can say, hey, Scott, you know, something like that. You know their name. Um, also giving them a small welcome bag like the one you see here with maybe a few useful items inside of it, like you could give them a move-in checklist or dishwasher tabs for their dishwasher or maybe a card like you see here um, with leasing office contact info. This is going to set you apart from the communities that are not doing this right now. And who doesn't get more, what doesn't get more friendly, who doesn't get more friendly around food? I know I am a, a fun party when I'm eating, whatever I'm eating. So hosting a supper club or maybe like a potluck during a set lunch hour will allow your residents to get to know one another and spread the word of mouth and that word of mouth that's so vital to attracting prospects. Make sure you're doing things that you know no one else in your general area is doing and Believe me, people are going to tweet about it. People are going to take a, a picture of this gorgeous spread you'll create, and they'll share it with their friends on Instagram. These are things that you want them to do because guess what? <clears throat> it's keeping marketing dollars in your pocket because they're spreading the word. They're becoming brand advocates, and they're doing the work for you. <clears throat> so there are many brands that are beginning to include pets in their consumer-facing events, like I shared with you before. So there are, I've seen professional baseball organizations like the Atlanta Braves. I'm from Atlanta. So the Atlanta Braves host a um, Bark in the Park event where you can actually bring your dog to a baseball game. There's also a popular trend that you see here called Yappy Hour, where business um, owners or in, in businesses in general can invite pet owners to bring their furry friends with them to a social. So I've, been, I've seen some communities allow residents um, to let their dogs swim in the pool on the last day that this, the pool is open before it gets drained. So maybe like the last day of summer, you could let um, all residents who have pets that have been approved by your community, um, you know, maybe swim in the pool if they're socialized enough. It's also, a, this is also a great idea if maybe you don't have a pool. So I'm assuming that there's going to be a combination of you guys listening today who work at properties um, that may not have a pool, that may have a pool, or you might have a dog park you can utilize. 
um, or you may not accept pets at all. So again, scale this according to what your rules and regulations are, but these are just some examples you can incorporate. Um, you know, if you have a dog park but not a pool, or if you have a, a pool but you don't want, you know, animals in that pool, make sure you're doing something that is going to make not only your residents feel welcome, but their pets feel welcome, and that's going to reinforce the fact that you care about their lifestyle. So summer has just begun. This is um, so this is your property. This is your opportunity, rather, to welcome your residents to a fun day at the pool if you have one. Again, scale this according to what you have available as amenities for your residents. Knowing how hot it's been lately. Many of them are probably at your pool as we speak um, or are going on a regular basis. So make sure you're capitalizing on this. These people are already going to your pool. Make sure you're capitalizing on this and tell them to invite a friend. Who knows? This could result in new residents. Make sure that you are using um, the amenities to your fullest benefit. Again, residence events are so important that we often have a hard time promoting them. Um, your grassroots efforts will only get you so far, and quite frankly, you may not have time to promote you know, any event by canvassing the neighborhood with flyers. So turn to Facebook events to help you do that. You'll see with Facebook events, they've been kind of revamped where you can actually upload a photo. You can give the day and the time where it's going to take place. And anyone who actually clicks join, their photo is going to show. So that way it's going to be promoted to their network of friends. Like I said, Facebook is a great platform in which to promote your upcoming resident event. And when the new news feed opens up, which is open now, your event will display in the event categories like the one you see here. So like I said, your residents and prospects can join these events as well as share it with their network. They can actually add friends to um, invite to these networks. So make sure you're using it, you're creating events. And this is just an example of what an event looks like on, on a Facebook business page. You can upload a photo. So this was the actual photo, and it's going to kind of show here like it looks like a cover photo almost. And you can upload an image as well as peg the location. So you can say, um, you know, give a description of what that event is going to be. You can give um, a description of where it's going to take place. The neat thing is that um, Facebook is intuitive enough to know that when you host this event, kind of what the forecast is even going to be. So that's going to help your residents plan a little bit better. They can also click join or say maybe. So they have the RSVP option. And they can actually um, you know, write a post saying, I'm, I'm excited to come. So this is a great way to interact and welcome your residents to any events that you may be hosting. You can also use Facebook as the informational hub for your community. We understand that your time is sensitive. Uh, we've created our products to help you make the most of your time. So the schedule post feature, if you're familiar with the FR Social dashboard, if you're an FR Social expert customer, what this does is the schedule post feature allows you to um, not only post your content in real time, but allows you to post your content into the future. So the cool thing is that your posts um, that are you're being sent, that are send, you're sending to your Facebook timeline can go out on any day and any time you select. So you see here, you can set, hit this calendar icon and it's going to pull up a calendar. You can actually scroll through the month. You can select, you know, as past 2015 when you want your content to go out. This is an excellent opportunity for you to share routine events such as maybe rent reminders or if you're having like a quarterly, um, you know, maintenance person come and spray each apartment building um, for maintenance purposes, or maybe you're repaving your parking lot, make sure you're using this schedule post feature. And if you're doing something monthly or quarterly, you can actually schedule that all at one time. And you're free to go do whatever you need to do in the rest of your day, because we get it. Your day is super busy. So make sure you're using this feature. If you need to um, kind of be brought up to speed on this feature, like I've said before, get in touch with your parent rep. They'll get in touch with me, and we'll be happy to give you a demo of how you can use this to make sure your social strategy is intact. So let's move on to Instagram. Everyone is loving Instagram these days, especially with the latest 
rollouts and the updates they've offered as far as video is concerned. So let's talk about how you can use Instagram to make your residents feel at home and welcome new prospects. So Matchable reported that over 100 million people are currently using Instagram. And this was when it was brand new. So that's much more, much larger number right now. And most will agree that the platform is maybe one of the simplest mobile ways for photos. And now, as of last week, videos can be shared. So again, we're seeing that society is really attracted to more efficient ways to share experiences. And that's not to say that that's not the same for residents and prospects. Um, brands are not missing the mark here. As reports show that 40% of brands are using Instagram. So are you one of those brands that's using Instagram? Make sure you are. Instagram is built to allow you to share your picture on multiple networks, so again, saving you time, once you hit the share button. Let's go over some ways you can use Instagram. So we've talked about how you can use Instagram to gain brand exposure in the past, but how can you use this platform to create community culture and make your residents feel welcome? Well, one way is by making the, on, the online and social experience for your residents extremely convenient. So just like with Facebook, you can share routine events via Instagram and use Instagram and, and use Instagram. And now it's owned by Facebook. So now you have the option to syndicate or push your content through face through Instagram Instagram to your Facebook page in one click. Also, you can use Instagram to create a buzz and promote engagement by running a contest and provide giveaways as incentive. So you can host a photo a day challenge. I'll give you examples of how you can do that. Now if you're hosting one of the events we mentioned earlier, so maybe you're hosting a 4th of July barbecue or maybe you're hosting a yappy hour at your community. Make sure you're spreading the love and giving your content to stealth life. Um, you know, Facebook may not be enough. Maybe you need to promote that um, event on Instagram or on Twitter. Spread the love on Instagram and welcome the audience using this platform. Um, and Foursquare is now integrated in Instagram, so not only can your residents share a photo of them enjoying your event. So maybe they're at your event and they're sharing the photo on Instagram. They can actually check into your location via Foursquare inside of Instagram as well. So this is all extremely convenient for you. And you're making it extremely convenient for your residents and your prospects. So a great app that I've recently discovered is an app called A Beautiful Mess. And it's a great app. I'm so happy I found it. And what this does is it gives you the option to upload an image from your smart device and add verbiage. So you can take it up a notch. And again, you're getting a little bit more graphic design control than you would be if you just upload an image on its own. You can also select a background that you see here. Um, and you can add verbiage to, what, to that image. So if you choose not to upload an image and say that you just want to promote some verbiage via Instagram using this app, you can do that. So you can upload a background and type in whatever you'd like to type. Um, and this works for almost any situation. And I'll share the link to this app um, toward the end of our session. But again, this is going to let your photos, like they say, speak for themselves. So if you like this idea, make sure you're tweeting it to us. You might be one of the lucky $10 winner today. Also with Instagram, a photo a day challenge works wonders. Let me tell you why. This is an example of an Instagram challenge that's currently underway as we speak. Our company, Dominion Enterprises, is strengthening our community culture within the business by sharing a photo every day that helps, each, helps tell each individual for each worker's story, each employee's story. So not only have we collectively at, at Dominion Enterprises been able to get to know one another a little bit better, which, which has enhanced our community culture, we now have a bank of photo assets to use in the future. So that's genius, right? You're killing two birds with one stone. You've seen me share some examples of other Instagram challenges we've promoted like, and I'll share this with you in a second, like our holidays home chat um, Instagram challenge. But the basis is to have an overall theme of the challenge, right? So you have that be your hashtag. So the overall theme for this challenge that you see here is DE Summer Fun. So 
So obviously then you're going to choose a topic for each day of the month and have participants tag your brand. So they're going to tag for us apartments for rent and homes.com. But this is where your brand, your Instagram hashtag needs to live. And this is where your custom hashtag or your Instagram handle needs to live and your custom hashtag needs to go. Um, you can create a, a graphic and you can actually say, you know, I want this month to be about fall fun if you're wanting to host it maybe at, at, during the month of November or something like that. And the cool thing is, again, you select a topic um, that has something to do with summer fun and you're going to give a topic, you're going to give each day um, a topic so that way you're giving all of the participants a job to do essentially. They're going to share a photo of something they can't live without or they're going to share a photo of a chair they use in the summer or a hat. So again, these are very, very simple photo assets that usually everyone has taken a picture of. And the great thing about this is you can use this for future events. So make sure you're creating your own Instagram challenge and create a community hashtag so that way it's all kept in one place. Instagram is also great and amazing for event promotion. So Instagram is great for hosting and promoting a resident focused event. One Social Savvy community hosts a monthly minute to win it game at their clubhouse and what you see here is an image with a caption. So they just simply promote this image and um, they said, we're ready, are you? This Friday, April 5th at 5 p.m. We're playing minute to win it. Win cash prizes. What, what, I'm sorry, with cash prizes. What color team are you and your guests on? So they're promoting you to bring a guest. Again, they're trying to get more prospects to come in and learn about their community, but they're not making it about themselves. They're wanting to give their residents and their prospects um, the opportunity to win the money within a minute. So again, use Instagram as event promotion. Make it not very self-serving, and you'll know that um, you're going to get great ambassadors this way, especially you're going to up the ante if there's any type of incentive involved. So this is the same property I just told you about Minute to Win It, um, and this is Stone Creek Apartments. <clears throat> in Atlanta and what they did is they actually took a picture of the lucky resident or prospect who won and it says Lauren won $100 by being the minute to win a champ. Gotta love this place. And the neat thing is this community has created a hashtag. So obviously they have their event um, at the end of every month on a Friday. So they call it Stone Creek Fourth Fridays. And they are using hashtag multifamily housing, hashtag things to do in ATL, hashtag I love my apartment. And more than likely, residents hopefully are using these hashtags within the Instagram space. So guess what? This content, this photo asset is going to show up in all these places this hashtag is being used. And the great thing is that you can have people that are following your brand on Instagram actually like and comment on these images. So make sure you are promoting, if you're having, um, you know, events go on at your property, it's great that you're doing that, but you want them to be seen by your other residents and more, more importantly, prospects and apartment shoppers out there that are looking for an apartment community that's going to take it up a notch and give them that customized lifestyle experience they're looking for. And Stone Creek was a slam dunk, a slam dunk and a home run as far as I'm concerned with how they promoted their events. And this is just another image of the same community promoting, um, you know, you're looking at the final four at our Stone Creek Fourth Friday party. So this person obviously won, and this image was shared before the last image. Um, the, this property even went as far as to create a, a T-shirt that says Stone Creek Fourth Fridays. <laughs> so whenever they're walking around their community, people see the hashtag. So you don't have to go that far, um, but definitely keep in mind that this is something that's going to get you brain exposure as well as more people to like, follow, and promote your brand. Instagram is now amazing and great for sharing videos. Just as of last week, they added, they offered video. And this was a pretty monumental event that took place in the social space, believe it or not, because previously, uh, Vine was really one of the only apps or social sites to be able to offer um, micro stories. And Instagram now, Instagram users are now able to capture an event 
And unlike Vine, they've taken it up a notch. And the user can actually delete sections they're not happy with and recapture that video. So it's not going to delete it all like Vine does. And what else is going to be a differentiating factor is users can also select filters now for their video. And get this, videos can be up to 15 seconds long, which currently doubles the life of a Vine or a video captured with the Vine app. So this, again, was monumental for people that are active on both Vine and Instagram. And if you're not using Instagram, definitely consider it as it can be a game changer in your social strategy. So what you see here is just an example of how you can capture a video. So you would just click this video icon here. And then you see these sections. So what I was saying is when you start a section and you keep going, if you didn't like that last section, you can actually click this um, X and you can delete that section and re-record and it's going to your, keep your first two previous sections. Whereas with Vine, if you aren't happy with a part of your video, you have to delete the whole, the whole bit. Also, like you see here, you have these great filters, which you see here, this image or this screenshot of the video is going to look a little bit um, less, you know, professional than this here. So the cool thing is that you can take your videos, not only your, your photos, but your videos now up a notch and be able to share that content. So this is great if you're hosting a video. If you're wanting to maybe tease out the fact that people are having a great time at your event and you're wanting more people to come, share an Instagram video, and that's going to incentivize and build up anticipation for people saying, hey, I want to be there, so they'll make sure that they come. All right, next let's talk about Pinterest, okay? So as you may or may not know, the average user spends 97.8 minutes on Pinterest. And this is a huge amount of time considering how short our attention spans can be online, okay? The magic of Pinterest, and we've talked about this before, is that there is so much content for every demographic, every niche group of user, that there's something, there's going to be something to occupy everyone. And Pinterest is retaining and engaging users two to three times as efficiently as Twitter. So not only are people signing up for Pinterest, they're actually staying and using the platform daily. What you see here is categories and board names that are popular on Pinterest. What you see highlighted in red, and you'll notice, is that home is number one for both categories. So this is something that people are paying attention to and planning for within the Pinterest space. People spend most of their time directing their attention on where they live, because why? It's where they're going to be spending the most of their time. So this is going to give you the opportunity to have engaging conversation and interaction in the form of a comment or like within the Pinterest space. And now you can offer so much more than a floor plan. Again, you're not promoting a unit. You're promoting a lifestyle. And you're, can, you can do that within the Pinterest space. Also, with anything you do, you want to position, position yourself as an expert, OK? So you're not just selling and leasing apartment units. Again, you're promoting that lifestyle that your community has to offer. And people choose a community based on the living experience they're going to get or the user experience they're going to participate in. So what you can do is set yourself up as the expert in areas like apartment decor or recipes or hobbies. And these are going to make your residents really feel like and know that you care about what they want their apartment home to look like. Again. Apartment, um, you know, people moving into the multifamily space is extremely important, and you want them to be proud of where they live. You want them to craft it to be their own unique space, and you can do that and make them feel welcome and make them feel like, you know, you care about what their housing or their, you know, living situation looks like with these tips within Pinterest. Another great idea is apartment staging ideas. Now, this is really for you if you're wanting to know how to stage an apartment so that when a prospect comes into that space, they're like, hands down, I need to live here. Can I sign on the dotted line right now? That's the reaction you want prospects and, and apartment shoppers to have when they come to your community. So these are some great ideas, apartment staging ideas, that you can take into account. And you can even create a Pinterest board to help you keep track of those 
so that if you're wanting to change the look of whatever you know model apartment you are showing, you can pin that here and change that look quarterly. Or you can know how to how to hang curtains in this model so that it's going to look a little bit bigger than if this image um, or if, if they were hung this way. Again, think of outside outside of the box um, ways to hang your towels. Um, make sure you're having flowers in these models. These are all personal touches um, that are going to make apartment shoppers and your prospects want to be resident on that day. You're going to make them want to sign on the dotted line on that day. Moving tips are so important for incoming residents. Um, if they're moving from one place to another, share a link of your moving tips board when a new resident signs a lease. Um, you can also send them a follow-up email of a link to your moving tips board so that way when they, it's actually time for them to move into your community, they have a really great list of how they need to move into your community. Again, moving tips is going to be really helpful when incoming prospects and residents are setting, settling in. Again, giving them tips on unpacking and checklists, different things like that that may be overlooked. That's going to help them and take the load off of them so much more than you would ever expect. And this is a board filled with resident event ideas. Again, we've been talking about how you can make them feel at home with hosting events. This is for when you're hosting a party or an event at your clubhouse or at your pool. Maybe you have some other locations on site. Parties, um, a party idea board is a very popular topic within Pinterest. And you can take ideas from events like maybe showers or even birthday parties, most definitely seasonal events and holiday, like holidays, and apply them to your board. So I talked about Vine last month for the first time, but if you're just joining us, maybe this is your first FRMS chat, make sure you're tweeting, maybe, sure, maybe this is your first webinar with us. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Vine. So Vine is an app that was developed by the folks at Twitter, which allows you to shoot, create, and share right now six-second videos. We've seen that Instagram has upped the ante and allowed users to create 15-second videos. So hopefully Vine will follow too. But with Vine, you can actually tell a whole story in this time frame, which shows us that we have the ability to digest these micro stories. And since the app launched, users have created innovative mini docs, and brands are finding clever ways to advertise and promote contests using Vine. So Vine is great. You can use Instagram video and Vine video for two different things. So maybe you can use Vine for short, impactful videos that you need to tell a story in a short amount of time. Maybe you have less than 15 seconds. You can use Vine for that. People have, and consumers have shorter attention spans these days. We know that. So this is, makes so much sense that Twitter created this app because it's almost like the same equivalent as a tweet, but it, rather than 140 characters, you have six seconds. So one of the ways that you can really add the amenity of convenience to your residents and your prospects is by being practical. Vines um, of pillow, of say like you see here, this pillowcase um, used to organize your sheets or maybe using lemon juice to get the rust off of your knives are practical tips that apartment dwellers and residents are going to be needing. So Lowe's did a great job of Again, they're creating their custom hashtags, so this is going to translate not only on now Facebook and Instagram, it's going to translate on Vine. So you can create a custom hashtag here and do a six-second Vine that shows you how to store your sheets, or do a six-second Vine that shows you how to use lemon juice to get the rust off of knives. This is going to give you great brain exposure, but first and foremost, that's an added plus. First and foremost, it's going to give you that brand to consumer engage, level of engagement. And they're also going to be able to like and comment on this content. So you're going to get that added plus as well. Another way you can use Vine is just be informational. As simple as it sounds, this apartment community, the Laurel Apartments, is showing their different floor plans within six seconds. So what you might want to do is in six seconds, you get a pretty cool idea of a space. 
you can help prospects envision living in a floor plan at your community by sharing the key selling points on Vine. You don't have to share the whole floor plan. You can just share that you're going to get a stainless steel um, you know, refrigerator and stainless steel appliances. Maybe someone else doesn't offer that. Share, share key points, selling points within each of your floor plans and promote it on Vine. You can do the same thing on Instagram. So lastly, we're going to talk about how you can use Twitter to make your residents and prospects feel welcome and at home. And we really don't talk about Twitter that much, but today we're going to because it's often not embraced and it should be, and here's why. Twitter is great for discussions. So Homes.com recently hosted a summer safety chat, which, as part, which is part of their, what you see here, their home chat series. So on a regular basis, what you might want to do is follow homes.com to see if you can see what they're doing. <clears throat> but what they do on a regular basis is they're going to host, they host a Twitter chat. <clears throat> and I believe this happens every month. And this is where participants are invited to discuss important topics. So as of last month or this past, this month in June, they had a discussion on summer safety, which is so important, especially if you're going to have the amenity of pool or, or even gym equipment. You want to make sure people are using it correctly. So this is something you can use as maybe if you're the social media manager for your community, you can, you can, um, you can do this to display the importance of safety at your community or really whatever topic you want to talk about for that month. You can discuss that for an hour with your audience. You're going to get that added brand exposure, but you're also going to let them know that these, these topics are important to you. And for a prospect, if it's important to you and it's important to them, you might be a good fit. Another way to use Twitter to drive the point home that your residents' input really does matter is by hosting a quarterly town meeting via a Twitter chat. This can be done one or two ways. So the first way is you can actually host a town hall meeting every quarter at your, you know, maybe your clubhouse. So maybe, you know, like 5 p.m. every quarter you host a town hall meeting where residents can voice their opinions, they can give feedback, they can give input, they can give you con constructive criticism. We all need that, right? We're going to be flossom today. We've talked about that. Um, and they can do that with the town hall chat. One added bonus is if you're going to be hosting a town hall chat at your physical location, say that you have some residents that really want to share their input because for the greater good of the community, maybe they're your brand advocate, but they can't physically be there. You could create a custom URL for Twitter, and you can actually host simultaneously a town hall Twitter chat while you're hosting it in your clubhouse. Imagine that. So this is going to really help with convenience. Again, that's a need, a basic need that needs to be met for any consumer. You're going to give them that added convenience, and you're going to tell them that we hear you, we're listening, we, your input matters to us. So make sure you're doing that, and you'll, make, you'll know how effective your, you know, whatever strategy you're implementing at your community is doing. So we're toward the, the tail end of our, our webinar here today, and we've covered quite a bit of material. So what I want to do now is I want to go over some of the things you can do today. And it's as simple. I'm not going to bombard you with all of these tips, um, but you might want to implement some of this stuff. So one of the things you can do, to, do today is create a welcome to the neighborhood, um, whether it be a bag, a, a welcome basket, or maybe a kit for your resident. This is something that is really going to make them feel appreciated. Maybe they went through a huge, um, you know, a hassle, and maybe that's the circumstance that brought them to your community. Well, you want to take that load of stress off of them. You want to let them know that we welcome you. We're happy to have you with us. And they will be so elated to receive this because most of the time, you know, communities aren't at the point where they're giving something to their residents as small or as big as it is to make them feel welcome. Make yourself, set yourself apart from your competition and give them something, a tchotchke, a key, a key chain, something that lets them know that we appreciate you being here and we appreciate you as a resident. And again, scale it to your budget. You don't have to give them a Thanksgiving dinner when they sign that lease. 
if you give them an Otis Spunkmeyer cookie, say that you have one of those ovens in your apartment leasing office, or you give them something that um, is as simple as um, you know a coupon at the at the local you know restaurant that you're doing cross promotions with. This is something that's going to make them feel very appreciated and welcome. Next, after signing a lease. Um, agreement or before a move-in date for residents, send them a welcome email with move-in tips in the checklist. Again, this is probably one of the most stressful things we go through as home dwellers and apartment dwellers is moving into places. And you want them to come to your community with an air of, okay, I've got to do this, but it's not as hard as it could be because guess what? The great people in the leasing office gave me a move-in checklist. So this is something that you can give them, which is going to take that load and that stress off of them. Another very simple tip I have for you is provide great customer service, people. It's not that hard. Um, when you provide great customer service, the work does itself, essentially. You um, are telling them you're listening. You're telling your residents that we care about you. Their needs are being met, and this is all done by great customer service. So we are always creating printable assets for you as, a, as our customer that you can use and give them to your residents. And one of those assets that we offer you are eBooks, and they're printable eBooks and guides. And these are great assets that our for rent.com and our homes.com designers create. They're full of great content geared toward your residents. And what we see here are two of several books we've created. And many of your residents may be staying local for the summer. So feel free to share what you see here as this ultimate summer vacation guide. A lot of people, because of you know whatever circumstances may be, the economy is not that great right now, people are choosing to stay at home and stay local rather than going out of town. Well, what do you do at that time? Um, give them this, print this out for them, and I'll give you the link here in a second of how they can best use their time during the summer if they're going to choose to stay local and, and spend their time at your community. Another great way that you can share content is what better way to welcome football season than with a printable ebook to give you and your residents. So this is available to you and your residents. And this is a great e-guide and, and printable book that allows your residents to know how to have great recipes for tailgating, how to make a, the perfect drink. Maybe you could be hosting a tailgate, um, maybe if you're like a student housing property, or you're just a property that's local to a, you know, a local popular college football team, or you're wanting to host a professional football um, game. If you're hosting the, su the Super Bowl, we can't call it the Super Bowl anymore, we call it the big game. If you're wanting to host a, a big game party at your community, print this bad boy out and share this with your residents. It's going to make them feel welcome. It's going to make them feel like, wow, our people really do care about us. So these are the links I told you I was going to share with you. You can't leave this party without some goodies, right? So here are some links that will help you get started. And we'll be announcing the $10 Twitter winner here in just a second. And these resources will not only help you use social media to welcome your residents, they're going to help you create community culture. So that's something that's so important is creating community culture. And actually next month, we're going to talk to you a little bit about how you can create and promote community culture. So what I'm going to do with you here is I'm actually going to share these links with you. So you can jot them down, but if you um, aren't, aren't in the position, I'm actually going to chat them with you. So take a look at your questions box or your chat box, and those should be in your box right now. If you don't have time to write these down, that's no problem. We're going to send them to you as an email follow-up. Um, but at this time, we're going to be um, really talking about how we can wrap up our session now and how you can make your residents feel at home. So I hope you've gotten some great tips as to how you can use your brand presence online to not only promote your brand, but to make your residents and prospects feel welcome. It's so important because if they don't feel at home, they're going to book it to the next place that does make them feel at home. So make sure you're doing that for them. So at this time, I'm happy to take any questions that you may have. Um, these are great ideas that you can apply to your whole strategy again. Um, and if you have any more ideas you want to share with us, make sure you're tweeting. But at this time, we're going to announce the winner. So let's do a little drum roll here. 
and we will give you the winner. It's coming up right now. And I just want to share with you that the winner is Cypress Springs Apartments. So con congratulations, Cypress Springs Apartments. You guys, we're so happy that you participated with us. And this is a great way that we really want to get you participating in our webinars. So this is our first time doing this. We really appreciate you being on board with us. And Cypress Springs Apartments, what we want you to do um, from here is, if you don't mind DMing us your contact info and your mailing addy, so that way we can send you your gift card in the mail. So at this point, we're going to wrap things up here. Thanks to you who listened. We so appreciate your time and your hour you spent with us. And we, can ho we hope that you can take these multiple ideas and really just apply them to your social strategy. That's the main point, right? And if you want to check out any of our future webinars, make sure you're on the list and, and send us a, a question and make sure we'll add you to the list of people who are getting our monthly training calendars. But this is how you found out, find out about these kind of webinars. Um, and feel free to visit that. So make sure you're sending me your, your, your information if you want to be added to that email list of people who are getting these, um, these webinar invites. But on that point, we're going to wrap things up here. And I'm, again, Ansley Sutter. I'm happy to meet you. I hope to talk to you next month. And on behalf of Current Media Solutions, have a great day. Take care, everyone.